Hey, yeah, YouTuber peoples. So today, I'm going to do a review of one of my polls that was, I think, in the last video I had. So, let's take a look. So this is my DACA poll. I think it stands about a little over six feet tall. I'm going to show you the head of this thing right here. It screws off. So this allows you to put any kind of attachment you want on there. You could put a cone head on there. What I did was I have this modified longer head. So this is a cone attachment that I attached a old blue unger pole head. I used uh, some kind of foaming gorilla glue thing. Worked pretty well. Um, this is an alternative attachment, just you know your regular old wooden uh, cone. Um, I use this because a lot of my channels are too wide for cones. They just kind of fall off. So let me show you how big this gets. Get that back on there. do to avoid too much of a flex is to extend it quarter of a way, half way, and full extension at the very top. And that avoids the super flex that you get from this pole. Because when you're doing uh, squeegee work, it makes it very difficult to keep an even pressure. So you can see how much it, I'll show you how much it could be, which is really flexible. It was so, I don't know, just, I guess manufacturer-wise, it just wasn't pre-lubed. <laughs> so, gave it a little help here. And the, uh, yeah, so the clamps needed a little work out of the box. Um, just to, to open and close it much easier. Um, I've been able to work pretty rough with this, so I haven't worried about these breaking. So maybe some of you guys out there are a little rougher with your equipment, but I drop poles and I'm generally pretty rough with my stuff, so I haven't had anything break on me. So if I would give this pole a rating, I'd probably give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's not a bad pole. It's... I don't think it's initially designed for window cleaning. It's, I think it's advertised as a painter's pole. Um, I, I, I ding it the star and a half because it's not a very rigid pole. So it takes a bit of getting used to. 
uh, for your, your your basic pull work on a window. Um, I have gotten used to it. I use it for most of my windows. I wouldn't rely on it over nose to glass when you're doing first time cleans. It, it's better for maintenance cleaning, honestly. It's not for your average, uh, you know, super dirty windows. So, you know, it's a pretty good pull for what it's worth. I've, like I said, I've been able to ding it up a bit, drop it on the ground, um, and it has a really nice height. I think it's 24 foot. I'll put it in the description down below if it's if it's taller than that. I, I can't remember um, exactly how high it goes. Uh, I know this goes up to, up to a two-story house, so it's got to be at least 24 feet. Um, so, I mean, I recommend it. Um, it does need modifications, and like I said, it does take some getting used to. So, uh, so it's not bad for a... Uh, telescopic pole replacement. So that's my review on it, and that's my review on the DACA pole. Uh, just let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.